Hello everyone! Today is a new day, new life, new beginning, and new lesson. So our lesson for today is about circle, specifically arc and angle. So we have given here circle or circle A with diameter XW or WX. Okay. So again, kung magnename tayo ng circle, we always name the circle with its center point. Ibig sabihin, kung ano man yung center point niya, yun ang pangalan niya. So, since it is A or point A, then it is what we call circle A. Okay? Simple like this or written like this. Ngayon, ang mga points ng isang circle ay pinapangalanan natin gamit ang big letters or malaking letra. So, meron tayong mga points dito. Of course, the center point which is A, which is the name of the circle or pangalan ng circle. And meron din tayo point W, point X, and point uh, Y. Okay? So, dito, may mga uh, Unknown. So, yun ang mga kukunin natin. So, ang symbol na ito ay tinatawag nating arc. Okay? At ang symbol na ganito ay tinatawag nating angle. At yung M dito, ang ibig sabihin ay measurement. Okay. So, nasa, pag sinabi nating arc, ang tinutukoy natin ay itong mga ito. So, these are the arcs. Okay? Tapos, yung mga angle ay itong mga to. So, halimbawa dito ay ito. This angle measures 40 degrees. Ngayon, ilan ang measurement ng whole circle? Ang whole circle measures 360 degrees. Okay? At ang diameter, yung half, ito. Mayroon tayong diameter dito from this point to this point. Pag sinabi nating diameter, ito yung line na kung saan nadadaanan yung center ng circle, straight line. So, ang measurement ng straight line or the half of a circle is equal to 180. Okay, ulitin ko, half of a circle. Meaning to say, kalahati ng circle, which is the line of the diameter, this one, measures 180 degrees at yung arc niya ay ang measurement din niya ay 180 degrees okay so yun ang mga review natin ngayon pwede na tayong magsagot so ng measurement ng WY sa so, ng WY natin arc I will repeat measurement of arc WY WY. Ito siya. Okay? Ano daw ang measurement nito? So, malalaman natin ang measurement nito. Gagamitin natin ang uh, central angle intercepted arc postulate. Ang sinasabi doon, the measure of a central angle of a circle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So, ang central angle ay yung angle na nabubuo dito sa center point. So, etong angle na to, from radius YA at WA, pag pinagsama natin, etong angle na to ay tinatawag nating central angle. So, kung ano man yung measurement ng ating central angle, yun din ang measurement ng ating intercepted arc. So, ang intercepted arc natin ay yung opposite arc ng ating angle, which is WY. So, since ang, in, ang central angle natin ay 40 degrees, then ang ating intercepted arc ay also 40 degrees. Kaya, ang sagot natin sa number 1 ay 40 degrees or 40. Okay? Next, meron tayong measurement of arc XY. X, Y. This arc. So, paano natin kukunin? Wala namang given. Okay, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, ang straight angle, ang measurement niya ay 
180. So, kung itong straight angle na to, from here to here ay 180. Tatanggalin natin ngayon ito, given na angle, which is 40, para makuha natin ang angle, or, yes, angle YAX. So, paano? So, 180 minus 40, meron tayong 140 degrees. So, meaning, this angle is equal to 140 degrees. Kung 140 degrees ang central angle natin na YAX, then, ang arc na XY ay also 140 degrees. Yung opposite angle niya, this one. O opposite arc ng angle natin. Okay? So, ang sagot dito ay 140 degrees. Next, what is the measurement of arc WYX? WYX. Okay. So, that is half of a circle. So, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, kung half of a circle, it measures 180 degrees. Okay, that is automatic. At kung makukuha nyo pa, pwede rin ninyong 140 plus 40 is equal to 180. Pero mas madali kong i-memorize na lang ninyo na ang half of a circle is always 180 degrees. Okay, next. Number four, the measurement of WXY. WXY. Okay, so ang WX is already 180 degrees. So, ang WX is equal to 180 degrees. How about XY? XY is equal to 140 degrees. So, WXY. Add natin lahat ito. Ipi-plus natin lahat. So, 0, 8 plus 4, 12, carry 1, 1, 2, 3. So, meron tayong 320 degrees. Next, number 5, measurement of XWY. XWY. So, again, ang XWI, 180. Ang WYI, 40. So, i-add din natin, 0, 8 plus 4, 12, carry 1, 1, 2. So, we have 220 degrees. Next, move na tayo sa angle. So, the measurement of angle XAY, XAY. So, ito ang angle na natin. X A Y we're talking about this angle so alam na natin kaagad kasi kinuha na natin kanina para makuha ang angle na to so we have 140 degrees and measurement of angle wax or W A X W A X so straight line this one ang straight angle ay always 180 degrees Because that is half of a circle. Okay? Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned from this video and I hope that you enjoy and learn something from me. Goodbye and keep safe.